Michael Frankel for CageMinds.com here with Cody the Freight Train East, new king of the cage, heavyweight champion. Have you gotten used to hearing those words yet, Cody? Yeah, sounds good. I mean, uh, I knew it was going to come. I haven't got my belt yet, though. They had a mix up at the, at the event. Dude forgot the belt in Utah or something. So, I mean, I don't feel like it's going to be really, really sink in until I get that belt in my hands. The fight itself, five rounds, it went all the way. So, Congratulations on the win, first of all. Second of all, you went all five rounds. How'd you feel in that aspect, the cardio, the lasting 25 minutes in a grueling battle? I felt all right. I feel like the last two rounds, I was like on zombie mode. I mean, I was pretty tired. That's a long... That fight right there was longer than all my fights put together times two, you know what I mean? But uh, it was long as a good experience to know that if I ever have to, I can go five rounds. So it was good. What about the fight, if anything, surprised you? Probably how big uh, Nick was. He's a big guy and he was light on his feet. He moved pretty well. He made a real, real nice jab, a long jab. So that, that was, and his, he was resilient. I mean, I caught him with some good shots on the ground and he got back up. So that was surprising. That would have finished a lot of people. Both of you worked a lot of leg kicks and you also put a takedown together in each round. Were those both part of your game plan? Yeah, you know, I want to chop his legs and then uh, make sure I stole the round every time if it was close with the takedowns, just to secure it. And I knew that was probably a weak part of his game was his takedown defense. So worked on my, my takedowns a lot. And I think that really helped secure the fight, man. Get me way ahead on the scorecards. When you got the takedown, you were very specific to get in the side control, work the elbows. Seemed to be a little hesitant when you got into the guard, let him stand back up a couple times. Was that part of the game plan? Was there something that you felt in there? What was that? Yeah, it wasn't really part of the game plan to get him up. I don't, I don't like to let people up, but when we got to the ground, to the ground and he got in his guard, I just really didn't feel comfortable. I mean, I, I felt like he was dangerous from there. And later on in the fight, from his guard, he ended up actually catching me in the knee bar. So. I didn't really want to play around too much down there. There was the knee bar, there was a lot of leg kicks, that, leg, that front leg took a lot of abuse. How did that ha uh, damper and you know put a haul on your movement and then what was it about that also now you look back on you can think I was able to push through an injury or push through something and still last two more rounds. Yeah it was good to be able to, to test myself like that, I, mean, my, I actually broke a bone in my leg probably in the second or third round from the kicks. It said my leg looked like I got hit with a bat. So I mean, that I think that helped, that messed up my movement a little bit. I wasn't able to really push off my front foot. So I was stuck kind of stationary. But uh, it was good, I mean, injuries happened and now I know I can fight through it. Fight five rounds, three rounds with a broken leg, so it was good. Okay, so you got that. The force recovery, the time off. How long are you expecting before we're gonna get you back in the gym? I hope I can get back in the gym Two, two to three months. So I'm gonna, I've got a couple injuries that I'm gonna get taken care of now that I'm down. That way I come back 100%. So we know that you've been in the ring and in the cage. Now you're a MMA heavyweight champion. Are you still thinking of pursuing multiple combat sports like that, or are you gonna start to focus in somewhere? I'm gonna do it all. I mean, I'm gonna keep boxing, shop kickbox if they call me to kickbox. I'll do it all. So I mean, it's 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 better to be uh, more open do different stuff that's why I'm not limited just to one aspect I can do my boxing and keep my hands sharp for my up and coming fights we can't really you know throw out you know if we know something's gonna come your way three to four months down the line but if it's up to you what's next on your list uh, next for me is uh, probably fight Tony Bonello or the, Tony, uh, the winner of Tony Bonello and uh, Wes Combs then I got some stuff coming up for boxing, hopefully, so. And the winner of that fight, that would be a catch or a cruiserweight title bout. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a weight class that King the Cage has. It's 230, so I guess it's like a catch weight belt. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to get the belt, so. Kind of in between her, so you're yeah. setting your sights on that, looking to get a bunch of gold, right? Well, I want to get that and maybe eventually do 205, and then maybe even the super heavyweight, too, so. Maybe I can be the first guy to have four belts. Big expectations. What do you think it's going to take then for you to reach those goals? What do you got to do? Just got to improve my stand up and get more comfortable on the ground. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of work. I'd say 
out of everything this fight, I was probably sixty five percent as good as I could be. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really throw my hands like I, I should or could have. And I mean, I've got to get my cardio better that way I can push that pace. Uh, there's times in that fight where if I would have just pushed it for another minute, twenty seconds, something like that, I could have finished the fight, but my cardio wasn't quite there. And like you said, now you don't really have the belt here yet, waiting for that to come in the mail. But still, getting this title, first one of your career, what kind of achievement does that feel like? It's great. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm real happy. It's a stepping stone, and if you don't want to hang it up here in my house, it'll, it'll be nice. So. Any message you wanted to send out to the fans? Uh, I just want to thank all the fans for all the support, all my sponsors, uh, my coaches, Paul, Al, Frank, uh, thank my wife for all the support, and my daughter, Janessa, I love you, and just everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you, and again, congratulations on becoming the new King of the Cage heavyweight champion. Thank you.